Welcome to the Westport Library tutorial on how to get started with Freeding for mobile devices. Freeding is part of our digital library and offers thousands of titles across a variety of genres. Let's get started on Freeding's homepage. In some devices, Freeding may open to My Library even if you are not signed in. This will look like a blank red page. If you do not start on the Get Books page pictured here, then select the menu in the most upper left of the screen and select Get Books. Our next step to start downloading books is to get signed in. Let's select the Sign In button. From here, you will be prompted to enter in the information for the Westport Library. There's no need to fill out every box, but do make sure that you capitalize the library's name. Otherwise, it will not return results. Now select Find Library. If the Westport Library does not show up immediately, then simply scroll down and select the Westport Library from the list. This will bring you to a page where you can either sign in if you have already created an account for Freeding, or you can create an account if this is your first time using Freeding. To create an account, scroll down to get to the Sign Up section. You will be prompted to enter your library barcode number found on the back of your physical card and your PIN, which defaults to the last four digits of your phone number. You will also be asked to enter an email and create a password. These will be used to log into Freeding in the future and are separate from the information you use to log into the Westport Library website. Scroll down a little more to see the rest of the page. You'll need to re-enter your new password to confirm it. Then hit sign up. When you log in, you will see this page of instructions. The only thing that you need to know is this section. As of a 2021 update, if Freeding prompts you to enter an Adobe ID, you can simply enter in the same email and password that you use to log into Freeding itself. The email is the ID, and the password will be the same password that you just created. Keep scrolling down and then hit Continue to Freeding. You may also be prompted to accept the terms of service. Give it a read and then hit Accept. And now you'll be logged in. Let's get a look at the home page. You'll see right away how many weekly downloads you are allowed and how many of those that you have used so far. If you are looking for recommendations or want to browse, then we can scroll down and see different featured sections that we can look more into. Now let's scroll back up to actually search for something. Select the inside of the search bar to begin typing. I know Freeding has an excellent selection of travel guides, so I'll look for a travel guide to Sweden. Once you are done typing, select the search icon. Results will show below. If you need to narrow down your results, then you can select the three dots on the filter results bar. And this will bring up a list of ways to narrow results. To exit this menu, simply select the three dots again. I want the first result, so I'll select it from anywhere in the highlighted area. This brings you to the title page for the item. If you scroll down, You'll see a little more information on the title, as well as the ability to change text size by using the magnifying glass icons. If you've decided that you want to download this title, then simply select Download EPUB. It will take a minute or so for the download to complete. Once it is done, the book will automatically open to the first page. Sometimes that first page is blank, as it was in this title. Not a problem. Swipe to the left, like you would to turn a page, to see the title page. And here we are, Lonely Planet Sweden. To open up options in the reader, or if you want to go back to the Freeding homepage, tap once on the middle of the screen. This brings us some options. Selecting this icon will create a bookmark on the page that you are on, making it easier to come back to later. This icon will allow you to search within the book for specific words or phrases. Selecting the T icon down below, We'll open this menu for text size and layout. Use the slider to change the size of the font and tap one of the three options below the slider to choose what margin size you would like. Next, if you select the sun icon, you will be given different options for color contrast, the three selectable options, as well as general brightness, which can be adjusted using the slider. To exit these menus and resume reading, simply tap anywhere on the screen between the space of the menus and then swipe left and right to turn pages. Finally, let's say you want to get back to another part of reading. 
select this menu in the upper left. And from here, you can go right to the cover page, a table of contents, directly to a specific page number, or any of your bookmarks or highlights. To go back to the rest of reading, select Library. And you will be brought to a list of all the books you currently have downloaded. Tap a title to resume reading it. To get back to the Freeding homepage, tap once more on the menu in the upper left. The menu will now show different options. Read Now corresponds to the library page that you are currently on. Get Books will bring you back to the homepage where this tutorial began, which is also the page that you will go to if you would like to log out of your account. The last important option is Info, which will give you information such as which reading account you're logged into and what version of reading your device is running on. Now you know everything you need to get started with reading for mobile devices. If you have any further questions, please stop by the reference desk or email us at ref at westportlibrary.org.